Hello, my little starseed chickadees. My name is Delilah. Welcome to Starseed Direct. Okay, if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome to the edge, baby. This is going to be a whatever comes out reading. Um, it's going to be conducive to whatever the collective needs to hear or the cross watcher. Okay, maybe this is going to be a karmic reading. I don't know. We're going to see what comes out and channel accordingly. Okay, so we're going to start with my custom oracles and my now and later deck to see what we can get going on in the weekend energies. Okay, I already have a collective message uploading. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, you may want to. There may be some messages in there for you. Okay, we have building. Okay, building. You may be working on something or that may be the focus for this weekend. Okay, you could be actually planning on i'm literally seeing blueprints so i don't know if you're into construction or something along those lines okay collective they are jealous of your glow up there may be a particular group of people or aspect of people or you know this could be karmics and people when i say karmic i mean real karmics i mean karmics aren't just you know jealous exes or you know hating ass bystanders karmics could be family karmics could be co-workers karmics could be literally anyone that is trying to stand in the way of the true collective mission okay there's a lot of people that claim to be light workers but there ain't nothing bright about them all right so you want to be mindful of that okay if they can't support what you're building which is raising earth's vibration then you really got to consider whether that person deserves to be in your energy. All right. Let's see what else comes out. Mm. All right. Activation through tantric practice. Activation through tantric practice. Okay. So someone may be trying to manifest or counter manifest against what you're trying to build through the use of their kundalini energy, more specifically their sacral and root chakras, okay? This person may be very sexually promiscuous, okay? People don't realize that when you use that energy to manifest, if you're using it to manifest low vibrational intentions in someone else's life, you're actually creating karmic debt for yourself. Whoever this person is, they may find out in the near future their promiscuity is gonna cause them their health, okay? Fake friends kept you apart, okay? This person could be a fake friend. I'm getting that whoever this fake person is, they're about to get some really bad news, all right? Let's see. Yeah, possibly due to the simple fact that they spread a whole bunch of lies, okay? They may have even gone as far as lying in court under the court of law. And I don't know if people are well aware of the law, but if you lie under oath in front of a judge and they find out you're lying... You can actually go to jail for that. It's called perjury. All right, so let's see what else is going on. Mm. This person wants to take action towards you, Collective, but I don't know if this action is warranted or in your best interest, okay? Whoever this person is, they get nervous around you, possibly because they know that you're intuitive and they know that you're one of a kind as it comes out. Clarifying, this person is... Coming to the realization that you're one of a kind. Whatever they've been trying to do is not working on you. And um, they may actually be trying to manifest you through the use of tantric practice, okay? Hmm. The crown chakra may be significant as well as the solar plexus. This person may actually be trying to get in your head in regards to something that you're creating, Okay. Whatever this is, it bothers this person enough to be all up in your business, okay? But they're not being forthcoming with this information, all right? Who is this involving? This is involving a feminine energy, okay? So this person could be in their feminine energy or they could literally be a feminine energy, okay? This person could also be a creator on some kind of accord. This person spies on other creators to sabotage them, okay? Because... You know, when you have a following, you can literally say anything. And then next thing you know, people will start believing it. This is why when the Most High puts someone in a position of power, they're only going to have enough rope to hang themselves. If this particular person has been spreading lies about you collective, 
with the intention of trying to sabotage or manipulate what you're building, trust me, that karma is coming for them. You may have gone as far as doing a cord cutting, which if this is your situation, the divine is confirming right now that it was successful, okay? Maybe this person decided to unfollow you or stop watching you or for whatever reason, gravitate away from your energy. That could be exactly related to the fact that you did a cord cutting and it was successful, okay? We have plenty of people watching us. We're really not worried about losing a couple of haters along the way, okay? Why collective? Because these people don't realize that you are genuine in your actions and everything you do. People hate the way other people love you, but that's because they're not genuinely loving themselves or what they do. These people can't sleep at night because they know that They've done so many heinous things behind the scenes, whether that's spell work, whether that's lies, whether that's manipulating the truth for a particular situation, because um, they can't, they're not going to be able to take credit for whatever it is that you are putting together. And maybe up until this point, they have, okay? These particular people need to kill the ego, okay? This message is coming out again, so it must be something really important, okay? The truth of the matter is these people are feeling some type of way, but the divine is confirming to you today that self-love looks so good on you. Taking the time to go inside yourself and take care of your vessel, physically, emotionally, spiritually, looks good on you. Why? Because you're showing the Most High every day that you appreciate the avatar that he gifted you with. You are appreciating that you're fearfully and wonderfully made. You are appreciating everything that the Most High has given you, okay? You may be receiving a visit from someone this weekend, okay? Or someone may be trying to communicate with you. I am knocking. Can you hear me? This person may actually be trying to get your attention on some kind of accord, but discreetly, okay? I don't know who this person is to you, collective, but whoever this person is, they got a soft spot, soft spot for you, spart. Like as in Sparta. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ducking those vibes unless you want this 300. Don't come for me. My heart swells for you. This person has a whole lot of love for you. They just, you know, they are discreet in showing it, okay? Mm. You may have been very patiently working with this person. This person could literally be a patient of yours. I don't know what you do for a living, but in this particular dynamic, you have been very patient with this person and this person is trying to communicate with you that your patience is going to pay off, okay? So, you know, people think that Rome was built in a day, but when you trust God, okay, or Ra or the Most High or Allah or however you address the source, okay? When you trust in the divine power beyond you, right? Because that same power is what created you. That same power is what gave you the gifts that you have, okay? Trusted you enough for a very divinely guided mission to carry out, okay? You need to beware of this. Always be aware. And spirit is ushering you to speak up about what you know. For a while now, Collective, you may have been very quiet and just observing how people act, okay, and react to the things that you do. And now there may be a time coming in the journey where you will have to communicate and set the record straight for quite a few things. And I have a feeling that when you take the time to make this action, whoever this person is, is gonna love you for it, okay? You could be dealing with a masculine energy this masculine energy may be dealing with some karmic conflict right now, possibly with this feminine hater, okay, whoever this is. This particular person mm, may be spooked out at just how much you know, okay, about this masculine, or maybe the masculine is spooked out. I don't know. It really depends. But how does this masculine feel about this karmic feminine energy? This masculine thinks this karmic feminine energy is a messy ass hoe, okay? Let's just keep it a stack. Whoever this person is that wants to hate on you and throw shade is a messy ass hoe, okay? And this particular masculine energy collective that has been 
patiently waiting to collaborate with you on some kind of level or be involved in what you're building, this person is trying to express to you that you taught them a lot about their self, okay, throughout the journey. Whether this person was a part of it or not, I don't know. Only you know your story. Take what fits and leave the rest, okay? Whoever this karmic feminine energy is, is angry that their tea is getting spilt, okay? Whoever this karmic feminine energy is really cares about what people think about them. And this is the telltale sign of who's divine and who's not. I mean, you would know, but... If you're a divine being, you're not really caring so much about what people think of you. And to be honest, if someone was really your friend, they would support you, okay? If someone was really your friend, yeah, they're going to tell you when you're acting up. But when you're doing things and you're being successful and you are moving forward in love and light, what else is there to think about? This particular person is mad because their secrets are coming out. Okay, and it's causing a karmic conflict with this masculine energy. Okay, this person, this karmic feminine energy wanted your life, so they manipulated the narrative. This particular person doesn't have anything else better to do than to mudsling, okay? Because they are, are running away from doing the, the shadow work required for them to elevate in their own respective lives, okay? These people need to forgive themselves, okay? And maybe even you, Divine Chosen One, may need to forgive yourself for even entertaining the likes of these people, okay? These people don't have anything else better to do than to um, throw shade at someone, okay? And Spirit is confirming right now, okay? My cards are cleansed and I pray to God, all right? These people are lying, these people are not telling the truth, okay? Whether it's through their mouth, their cards, it doesn't matter. This particular person is lying and they're about to get caught up in their lies, all right? The truth of the matter is this particular person may be spreading lies about you because they're trying to ward off any other competition. This person's friends secretly want you too. Okay, whether that's work with you or date you or whatever, they want to be in your energy. So they're going to spread lies about you to ward off any competition. Okay, and this is the level or the length that this person is going to make sure that you feel like there's no other opportunities or options. So you only choose them. It's kind of toxic, to be honest with you. But in some sort of way, it's endearing because, you know, you got to understand people weren't all raised like you, Collective. Some people, you know, I've said this in several readings. There's two ways to react to something that happens to you. You can either let that experience continue to play out for generations because you didn't take the time to heal yourself. Or you can learn from the things that happened to you and heal from them so that you can be a beacon of change right? Because how is breaking generational curses successful if you're not taking the time to heal from what has been done to you, okay? And the reality of the situation is these people aren't healed. They don't want to heal. They don't want to do the work. They want someone else to do the work for them. And the reality of the situation is they can't, okay? As far as the most highest concern, they said what they said. God has his mouth on you. God has a plan for you. And it doesn't matter what anyone else wants to say against it, do against it. It doesn't matter, okay? God says you are special to him, period. There is nothing, no adversary, no lies, no feminine, hell, no masculine, there's no energy that is going to stand in the way of what God has for you. And that's point blank, period. And anyone who thinks they're going to rise up against you, against the mission, against what we have been literally put here in this point of the timeline to achieve, they're going to get that instant karma, baby. They may already be getting it with that karmic conflict coming out, okay? And now, damn, I just made an oracle for it, but I didn't pull it out in this deck. Collective. They want to take all the credit for the W's, but the only thing they want to share is the L's. And to be honest with you, shit, you can keep those too. I don't want to share nobody's L's that I didn't partake in, in making, all right? 
this person may be coming to the realization, okay, that these people didn't believe you, but God did. And that's why you blessed. And people want to sit here and say, oh no, you blessed because you laid on your back. You slept with your neighbors. You got this. They trying to claim disease and sickness on you. Fuck all that collective. I'm sorry for my language, but I'm going to keep it a stack this morning. The macchiato's kicking in. At this point, these people are reaping over 20 years of karmic debt for even putting their energy on your name like that. Okay, these people may also be facing a bid for 20 years for lying in court. I don't know exactly what they lied about, but it must have been really, really heinous. Whatever this situation is, collective, you're realizing now that trusting your intuition has gotten you far. You cut your losses from these karmic ass people and you moved in silence. Why? Because the Most High said to do what you gotta do. And when you are obedient to the Most High, the Most High makes a way for you every time. I can't even tell you. I tried to explain how I'm blessed, how things happen, and all I can say is, it's, it's Source, it's Ra, it's, it's Allah. That's, that's who I can give the credit to, legit, okay? You may have prayed about something. You may have gotten an intuitive message that some kind of karmic energy was coming your way. The return to sender was successful, okay? <clears throat> the truth is, these particular people are trying to swim in your tide. You may be the wave setter, okay? And everybody's got their surfboard out now because they know the wave is coming, all right? This person wants to move quickly to fix the relationship on some kind of level because they know whatever they did fucked it up, okay? Okay? behind the scenes okay you may want to take the time to meditate in the tub today or um discuss this okay and the reason why i say that is because you have spa coming out you also have secret meetings so maybe you will be meeting someone in secret at the spa or you may be you know meditating and speaking to this person telepathically while bathing okay however that fits for you okay Domestic violence is coming out, so I don't know if this person was domestically violent to you or someone else, okay? Maybe this person lied about being domestically violent to you, and now they're going through that same situation with another karmic, and it's basically like, you know, if they lied in court about not being abusive, and then there's another case brought against them, needless to say, it's looking bad, okay? Whoever this person is, they're getting in trouble with the law in regards to a domestic violent altercation, okay? Hmm. Whoever this person is, they know how protected you are and they feel stupid. Yeah, because they thought that they were going to walk some fake-ass testimony in the court, lie on you, or whatever it is, deny their role that they played in something. And, you know, it's going to be hard to convince a judge that you're not domestically violent if a completely new person puts a case against you about being domestically violent, okay? There's also a health concern here, okay? Possibly the, the health of this karmic energy, whoever this person is, they may need to go get some therapy or literally go to rehab or some kind of rehabilitation program that works with people that have um, anger issues or something because you did get hot head that came out collective for you to move forward okay if i don't teach you anything from my journey forgive but never forget forgiveness is for you if you cannot forgive someone i don't care what they did to you you hear me i'm a domestic violence survivor i've been raped i've been molested i've had lots of things fucked up happen to me in my life but i just forgave and moved forward and this is why God protects me. And this is why God continues to bless me. I don't have to sleep for a bag. I don't got to sleep for an opportunity. I don't got to steal from nobody. I don't have to do nothing ratchet to get to where I'm going. You know why? Because I manifest out of doing harm to none. I manifest with the energy of love and light. And I send nothing but love and light to everyone. Whether you love me or hate me, it don't even matter. I'm still going to get it in. Why? Because this is my divine purpose and it is my birthright to be abundant period all right in case you didn't know now you know all right this particular person may actually be facing a life sentence of karma for even fucking with you collective legit all right or their spiritual gifts are going to be removed or taken away from them 
One of the two. Okay? One of the two. This person may want to pursue a plea agreement with you, okay? Or maybe seeking one in regards to something that happened, okay? Something in regards to a treasonous act, okay? This person may be actually facing a lot of legal issues. Thank God I'm not going, going through any of that, okay? It's very important for y'all to protect what you create, all right? I'm also getting whoever this person is, you know, they wrote a check that their ass can't cash, and it's going to come out in court that this person said a whole bunch of lies, all right? And one thing you don't want to do is manipulate a court of law because people assume that the judge is not going to do their research. The judge is not able to work a, a cell phone, a smartphone. A judge is not able to hop on social media and see what's really going on. So really, if you're going to walk some fake-ass testimony up in court, and think the judge is not going to do their due diligence or the attorney or whoever is not going to do their due diligence and looking up the truth, you know, you're setting yourself up. That's your bad, okay? It was possibly a risk you thought it was worth taking, but now you're finding out that that risk caused a whole lot of fucking problems for you, okay? Mm. The truth of the matter is this person has prediction uh, predictions. Wow. You may have predicted this outcome, collective, for this karmic. I have addictions that keep me distracted. This person has addictions that keep them distracted. And had they had heed your advice on cleaning their self up, possibly they wouldn't be going through this situation. But they decided to continue to act on low vibrational energies, okay? This person may want you to meet them at their level, but spirit is saying don't lower your vibration. That's what they want. They want you to get out of pocket. They want you to be mad. They want you to sit here and do all of these things. But the reality of the situation is you love God and you love yourself too much to even lower your vibration to meet these people where they're at. Okay, something significant is going to happen tomorrow. Okay, whenever you see this reading, okay, Something significant is going to happen tomorrow in regards to your intuition. You need to trust your intuition at all times. I don't care how much stuff I got to do. If my intuition, if my spirit guides tell me, yo, stay in your house tonight. Or, hey, spend some time with your kids tonight. Or, hey, um, I know you had a lot of other running around or errands you wanted to do. Maybe you wanted to go to a particular part of town and something tells you, something in your gut tells you, Nah, go a different way. You need to start listening to those intuitive hits. I can't tell you how many times that spirit has assisted me without me even realizing it because I decided to switch it up and do something different, all right? And that may be a message that someone needs to hear today. Let's go ahead and pull a door for you because I love you and I love Andres for making this deck. It's awesome, all right? Three-Eyed Raven, as sunrise hits upon the dew, a messenger raven calls out with news collective it's time to stay on your toes prepare for the unexpected you're going to be getting an unexpected visitor maybe physically maybe spiritually whoever this person is they may actually be seeking you out to get some intel in regards to a case that they're working okay this could be an investigator this could be someone um mm. Collective, I'm also getting that intuitive, intuitively, if you felt like an attack was coming on, you need to take the precautious measures of cleansing your space, okay? You need to cleanse your space immediately, whether that's through the use of sage, palo santo, or physically cleaning your area, you need to do so immediately, okay? I can't even stress how important it is to keep your energy cleansed and protected. And not just you, but if you are a parent, you need to also energetically protect your children, okay? My kids take spiritual baths, okay, salt baths. My kids meditate with me. We meditate every night. We pray before we go to bed and we meditate, okay? I think it's important whether your kid is gifted or not for you to instill a, a spiritual practice for them so that you're setting them up for success in the future. 
literally the children are the future people. And whether you have children or not, you need to be concerned about what you can do, if, especially if you consider yourself a light worker, to better the future for the next generations. Because we're not going to be here forever. And, you know, God forbid we have to come back and do this again because karmic debts and contracts weren't fulfilled. You need to make sure that you are setting your future self or the future generations up for success, okay? And this is why it's so important for you to manifest with doing harm to none, okay? People don't realize how important that is. Somebody may actually be trying to get you out of your element or try to trigger you in some kind of way, but they're going to be punished severely for doing this, okay? Maybe this person tried to mess with records, like literally, or Akashic record, meaning your 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 destiny okay this person is trying to block your destiny or, or change it or whatever they tried to do with whether that's with slander or you know false testimony whatever this person may be trying to gaslight you or make you feel some type of way or maybe even go as far as taking credit for something that you're building okay it's a trap tread lightly this person wants to get you out of your element because they know that if they compromise your integrity and make you look a certain way in front of um, important people, then the, they will have perceived that they won. But the honest realization of this particular situation collective is you have a strong connection to God and God is not going to allow but so much to happen. This person is mentally unstable, doing the most, and they're about to get caught up in their lies that they spread in court. OK, whether that was through the use of false documentation or false testimony, these people are about to get big time trouble for lying to a judge. OK, possibly even lying to their attorney. Their attorney may actually drop them or end up losing the case because of something that they lied about. You are manifesting solutions. You're not concerned nor losing any sleep at night based off of these people trying to do the most to control a situation that they don't have any control of, okay? You come from a long line of spiritually gifted people, and this is becoming a public fact. Shit, you could be an Aries, or you could be dealing with an Aries, one of the two, all right? Mm. A spirit is giving you the green light or possibly the green door to continue moving forward in whatever this is that you're embarking on or creating, okay? And whoever this um, other person is that actually is trying to um, express their camaraderie with you, this person is loyal or desires to be despite what's going on right now. This person may have... Um, done things behind the scenes to assist you, okay? This person wants to protect the future that both of you have, okay? I'm not, I didn't get any uh, emperor or empress cards, so I can't say it's a divine connection, but whoever this person is may have gone through some kind of crash course activation their self due to your tutelage or your example. And this person is realizing now that if they are in a position to assist you, they will. Why? Because this person's always in your heart. You may have a spiritual connection with this person. You may have helped this person realize what their true purpose in their life path is. Okay? This person may also be coming to the realization that you have an ancient soul and it is desired or possibly part of their um, contract to protect you. Okay? Their life is filled with drama from karmics right now, which is probably another reason why they haven't come forth yet. They are currently dealing with a lot of drama from karmics, and this could be directly related to something else that they have going on, possibly sexual addictions, okay? This may have caused a domino effect, and which is why it's karmics plural. They're dealing with a lot of stuff going on right now, okay? These people spread lies about you to gain popularity and sabotage you because the truth of the matter is they're jealous. And people can sit here and try to paint this any way they want to, but the truth of the matter is if you're lying on someone to gain popularity or clout, you're jealous. There's no other way to explain that, okay? What other reason would you have to lie about someone, okay?
other than the fact that you're a hater. That's, it's just simple as that. This particular person may actually be getting investigated now. Someone is looking into whatever their testimony is in court. Someone is looking into it, okay? Someone may actually be trying to meet with you this weekend in regards to this evidence and speak your truth, okay? Because um, they're going to find out the truth, okay? This may have something to do with Las Vegas or somehow Las Vegas is significant in this particular situation. Someone may have been caught being intoxicated in public, Okay, in regards to this, mm, they may have given a false testimony or may have tried to say that they were you to avoid getting in trouble. Whoever this person is, they may also be finding out very soon that they have a sexually transmitted disease that they can't get rid of. Okay, and <laughs> if they were wondering how you know all these things or they're feeling some type of way about it now, the reason why they're angry, Collective, is their predict your predictions about this person or people came true. And that's the real reason they sabotage you. Why? Because they know that you're better than them. And it's not because, you know, God loves you more than the next person. It's because you fully believe in the power of the Most High and you know that that is the last being that you want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with. People on the daily think that they're better or greater than God until God puts his boxing gloves on. And I can tell you right now, the last being you want to box with is God. All right? Let's go ahead and get a closing message on this one. Because, ooh we it's looking messy for somebody this weekend. Yeah, you need to stay far, far away from these people. Because all they are are dream busters. Whoever this person is, they're going to be having a fucking tower moment. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or an Aries or Scorpio, okay? This particular person may be having a tower moment off of your shine. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? But whatever the situation is, they're having a tower moment because no matter what they have said or done behind the scenes to try to mess you up, trip you up, block you, stop you, the Most High is still putting you on a pedestal. Why? Because you took the time to heal yourself. People think that you just are what's happened to you, and that's not the truth, okay? That's not the truth, okay? If you were feeling abandoned or left out in the cold, okay, Five of Pentacles, that shit is dead. It's coming to an end, okay? It's coming to an end. Why? Because the Most High has already shown you, possibly through the use of dream interpretation or a vision, that a new opportunity is coming, okay? And this is going to possibly have somebody jealous, okay? This is going to reveal someone's true feelings about you. The moon and the five of swords. This person is jealous. Okay. Why is this person jealous? Because the truth of the matter is you took the time. You patiently worked on yourself and your mission. And you're now cultivating the hard work of your labor. 